The African School of Diplomacy and International Relations is set to host a peer-to-peer -peer education conference in Kigali, Rwanda, from the 28th to 31st of July 2004. The Vice Chairman and CEO of the African School of Diplomacy and International Relations, Ambassador Tundi John Asaolu, made this known at a press briefing in Abuja, to provide an overview and state the significance of the conference. Asaolu says the theme of this year's event, promoting the spirit of Pan-Africanism through education, experience and interactions, is important as it will showcase the value of the event towards using diplomacy to drive unity across communities and advancing shared goals for sustainable development in Africa. The African Union proposed theme of the of education for the for the year 2024 spreaded after the global summit on the transform education education con conveyed by the united nations secretary general in september 2022 echoing a clear call for the collective action towards empowering african nations through knowledge skill and capacity building our educational tour in kigali symbolizes our commitment to advancing this fatal agenda and shaping a, a brighter future for the African youth who are the first runner of change and innovation in the 21st century. Our tour has three primary objectives. Firstly, to facilitate knowledge exchange by engaging participants in dynamic discussions and interactive dialogue on diplomatic practices and international relations within the Africa. Secondly, to offer a deeper understanding of both conflict reconciliation through Rwanda's remarkable journey, serving as a model for positive transformation. And lastly, to foster collaboration and networking among participants, creating a platform for impactful change and innovation in the field of diplomacy and international relations. The reason why we are going to Rwanda is, to, of course, to learn from the experiences of Rwanda in ways we can, you know, also see how we can, you know, uh, pick up one or two things from the lesson and to also see how we can also talk to our people, our brothers and sisters in other countries. We discover that the African lacks, you know, it's why I see that we lack that, but the spirit of Pan-Africanism, which we believe that is over, is long dead. So it's what we are trying to actually, you know, we are working and we will continue to do this until we also achieve our aim. It's part of our contribution to the society.